of the gathering with association members after the lecture section of the following insightful lecture titled The Reunion of Souls, spoken by Supreme Master Ching Hai in Auckland, New Zealand on April 27, 2000. Can you please teach me how to love? I can't. But you can teach yourself by going in the ocean of love which you are, by remembering it, by going back into it, swimming in it every day, saturating yourself with blessings from heaven, be loved by God, feel loved by our Father, then you will be loving automatically. I can't teach you, not even in a thousand years because you are love incarnated. You are already love. No one can teach you. You just awaken, remember, walk the way you should be as a loving being, as a representative of God. Then you will know love. This is in three parts. What is a noble idea? What should we do continuously in order to fulfill the noble idea in our mind? And then, in order to work in a big company and make lots of money, is it this not a noble idea? Oh, it is. It is. Depends on what kind of company and depends on what you do with the money you earn. The noble idea is to know God. That's the noblest idea. And everything else follows. It's okay to earn money. You have to take care of this temple. Take care of God inside, yeah? And you have to take care of your friends, your family, your wife, your kids. It is a noble idea to earn money, take care of your loved ones, yeah? And, by the way, knowing God. If just uh, earning money to take care of this physical body and their physical body is not enough, that's all, okay? To know God and work yeah. at the same time. I'm knowing God and working, earning money too. I use the money in different ways, and I'm very happy with it. Earning money is good, very noble. I'm proud of my money, <laughs> because a lot of people need it. I'm always happy when I can give somebody something. It's a very noble feeling. Hmm? If a person who in a previous life has done some bad things, what should he do to liberate in this life, and where can he liberate too, and for how long? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you should do is to just know yourself, okay? It doesn't matter how bad you have been in the past. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long this uh, hall has been dark. Tonight, they just lit the light and everything is brilliant again. Even if it has been dark here for 300 years, it doesn't matter at all. Get enlightened and everything else is clear. Hmm? Why is God so hidden, so hard to realize or hard to find? Has He's not. My God has is dying to come out to shake hands with you. <laughs> it's just you don't look for him. Um, Quiet yourself like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours a day. And then has He appears. Immediately, yeah? Just look into where God is and don't look into the world. Meditation means we retire from the world for a while, yeah? It doesn't mean go into Himalaya, but retire inside. Forget the world, forget every trouble for a while. And then remember God, then God will come. How do we know that we are one? How do we know we are complete when we give so much and ask for nothing more but true acceptance? Is this a sign of not knowing oneself? We only know we are one when we are enlightened. Anything else nobody can explain to us. Once we meditate, we inside the spiritual experience, we will see that, just like I see you, that we are one. Yes, honey? Finito? Yes. Cool. Finito. Yes, good. Thank you so much for your love and your patience. Thank you. Uh, 
you are a wonderful audience. You can take some fruit if you like to. You've been sitting so long, maybe you feel tired and dry. They are yours. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you. God already does. <laughs> Oh, man. Next one. Yeah, yeah. 
banana. Come on, go over here. Actually, we should not need money, you're right. 
brothers and sisters is still like one. Sometimes you feel very good with your sister or your brother, your mother, your father, because that's you. You make it become family, but it's only one, one soul. It's a many individuals. A bit? No. <laughs> It's all right. But that's why sometimes we say, I have affinity with that person. Oh, she's my soulmate, he's my soulmate. Because it's you. It is really you. I mean, that's your individual soul group in one soul. See what I mean? Apart from that, we are one with God and one with everybody else. We have also individual souls which can house many big group of people. It's just one soul. But it looks different. No, uh, no capito, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. Uh, you do understand. Yes. So that's why sometimes we feel so good with a group of people. See? The more we are with them, the more we feel strengthened. Because we are at home with ourselves. We are together. We peace together. You see? No wonder, huh? No wonder we work so well, huh? Can you imagine? You and me, huh? <laughs> 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 but how come I'm the only beautiful one in this world? <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. I'm very humble. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh, if I don't come see you, it's not because I don't love you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, but also because I don't feel the separation. Maybe you do. Sometimes I do miss you a lot. Some people, especially some people... If I have known... Long time, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Even like one of the residents died or something. I know I can see her any time, but it's different. See what I mean? It's different. Like, I cannot keep calling her coming down here visit me. You know, it's not fair. But when we're physically together, we can see me. And sometimes uh, so nice, so nice people that I also want to stay there with them forever. And just like for example, now I invited some um, representatives, some contact persons in my rooms, and we share some food, eat together. Well, they eat together. <laughs> <laughs> I share the food today, and it's just so nice. It feels like family. I feel like they're so good, and I also love to be around good people. It makes you feel good too. It makes you feel life is worth living, and everything you do is really worthwhile. It's really really nice. So I also did not want them to live, and I also did not want to live this in. It just gets sentimental like that. And perhaps you do feel like that when we are not together, huh? And in some moments like that, I understand how you feel. But otherwise, most of the time, I don't feel the separateness between us at all. And I do not feel that the world needs me, even. I told you that many times. But it's difficult for you to, to understand. <laughs> some people are keep telling me, oh, well, uh, it's difficult to know if you are a true master or not. I say, hey, it's good. It's good that you don't know. Though. I don't have to work so hard. <laughs> no problem. I only do it just because you know. You ask me to. And people ask me to. How? Oh. How can you tell? You look like me. You know, it's in the middle of two eyes. Can't tell. Yeah? I don't know. My miracles. I don't make anything to attract you at all. I just sit in a coffee shop sometimes drinking. <laughs> and if you want, I come here sometimes to talk to you. I mean, but I was thinking in the coffee shop, it was so difficult. I said, who? What? What am I going to talk about? And who will listen to all this? I suddenly felt, you know, the, fr <laughs> the frustration of going to talk to strangers that you have never met before in your life. And they're going to be convinced and then go get initiation and eat vegetarian and all that stuff for all their life. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, 
Not only that, they bring their friends and their wife and kids and they want to give everything to you. How, how do you do that? I mean, how do I do that? I mean, how am I going to do that? Today I sat in the coffee shop just like everyone else and I felt really like everyone else. And I feel like, how am I going to talk to these people that I have never met and my never meet again? And they don't even know anything about spirituality, no vegetarian experience, nothing. Maybe now and again they eat, uh, I would say, French fries, that's what they call vegetarian, because they don't they want to eat anything else. Or like the Chinese people eat morning, morning vegetarian, and the whole day, for <laughs> example, like that. That morning Buddha, and the whole day, take a rest, <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Yeah, but at least like if the Chinese or the Vietnamese, the Asian people, they kind of have more idea about vegetarian, yeah? They believe more in the invisible power. Because how am I going to talk to the New Zealand people? You know, they are different. And I look different to them. They just come in and they accept me. You know, it's, for example, you know, like that. It's, it's not easy, yeah? I was thinking, how am I going to do this? Okay, go. Congratulations. Sorry. Whoever has to be shaded. I want to sit again. Go in there. <laughs> You'd rather sit here, huh? <laughs> she likes to sit where I very tired. So everyone goes in already? Yeah? That's cool. I just go to say hello again, right? Let's just, oh man, I don't know. So let's see what's going on. Come back some. Yeah. Yeah. Leave her alone, leave her alone. Leave me alone. Everyone's so tall. the flowers for the sacrifice. <laughs> okay. All right. What else? It's okay, huh? I think it's okay. No? No? You all of them yeah, at least we sit together and encourage each other to, no, no, it's better than you sit there, not alone, it's lonely, right? So, and then you have maybe more kids, work harder than before, have more money, some of you, better job, yeah? Or even if you have the same money, you know how to manage it better. And you have more than before, you travel more than you ever did before. And with the same money. Because you know how to sit here, mother. <laughs> you don't look tired. Yeah, that's the way you see. And uh, you know, you know, just know how to do things better, yeah? And therefore you're just happier. Hmm? You have more than before. Even though maybe the same. You see, I have read a uh, an article in a magazine. How to become a millionaire? Do you want to hear? <laughs> huh? Don't tell me. Don't hear. Don't. Hey, Gwen, where are you from? Okay. Uh, it is very logical. Uh, people, you know, uh, we give a lot of money away. Huh? Not a lot. For us, it's a lot. Yeah. Well, actually, it is also a lot. Millions of dollars is not little money in this world. Even though we can't compare to Bill Gates, you know. <laughs> we, we are different Gates. <laughs> we are so Gates. Yeah. Funny Farman. <laughs> Funny Farman means the gate. Yeah, the gate to heaven. Yeah. The gate to the, the world of God. So. Anyhow, we also gate, yeah? We also donate a lot of money for our capacity, yeah? And other people also think a lot. I mean, not a lot compared to a lot of other, a lot of people of the World Bank, but a lot for what we earn, yeah? 
for, for the ordinary action of people. Most people don't give like that. So I do give. And a lot of people think that I'm very rich. I, I am also. Even though I'm not as rich as they think I am, which is good. <laughs> but if, if, they, if they had come to us, yeah, suppose if they were me and had that kind of money, they would look that rich and they wouldn't be able to give that much. Not because they don't want to, just they don't know how to manage. You see? They don't know how to manage so that it, it will stretch out like that. So when I read that article, I think it was cool. I did it all already, how to become a millionaire. I knew it all already. But when I read the article, it looked like I wrote it myself. <laughs> yeah, because it's just natural. Some people happen naturally. But it is because we are also enlightened. Yeah, we also practice the enlightened way and the way of love. And we have very few wants in this world. Are you, you understand all of this? Yes. Yeah? The Chinese and the Cantonese and all. And the New Zealand especially, you understand? <laughs> okay. So anyway, you see, just like the way you are now. Before, you had a lot, but you thought you don't have enough. And now, however much you have, you can manage. You still can come to New Zealand or Thailand or wherever retreat, provided if you have holiday. Yeah, you can always manage. And that's a wonder. And you feel always enough. And you will feel always loved. I'm only one, but all of you feel that I love you alone, <laughs> love enough, or have enough love for everyone. It is because we practice the way of love, and we just know how to have enough. It's like how to save money to become richer. Not because you earn more money, not necessarily, but you save more. You want less, the unnecessary thing, and then you save more money. So when you save one dollar, just like you earn one more dollar, you understand this? And it's even better than earning more, one dollar more. Because when you save one dollar, you don't need to go to work for that. You just cut out uh, some unnecessary thing. Before I go out and buy everything, now you have to think carefully. Before you go out and buy everything, now you go just straight to the tofu. <laughs> Save money, save time, save thinking. Yeah? Before we all cook all kinds of things, now just tofu, chop choy. <laughs> and then tomorrow, chop choy, tofu. <laughs> yeah, simple, huh? Simple life. Yeah? And before you go everywhere, maybe you need to book a hotel for yourself and your husband, and it's just a lot of money. Now you just pack a tent. <laughs> Come out there, yeah, to fresh air, natural. Oxygen a lot around you. When you come under the tree, come on the grass, feel good, light, and economy also. Yeah, and we live together, we're happy. We don't need to stay in a big hotel to be happy. In fact, we're happier than when we stay in a big hotel. Yeah, because we have common ideas, interests, we love each other, and we just feel so good. And the nature of air and food, healthy, make us feel so good. You see? The money you didn't earn more, you don't have to earn more money, you just know how to live your life. Because you have only one life, this life. Whether I say the truth or not, you have heaven or not, or you have reincarnation or not, this life is all you know, right? And if you don't manage well, you, you, you cannot live freely and you cannot feel happy about it. You have to do what you really want and what is good for you. Of course, then you will tell me, then you can do anything you want. It's not true. What's good for you is what you should do. Vegetarian is healthy, right? Meditation comes to your nerves and makes you more bright and clever and loving. That's good for you. Yeah? It's not that you do anything you want. Of course, we can do anything we want, but what's good for us that's what the clever people would do. Saving money is better than earning money. Anything you save is like you earn, except that you don't have to go out and work for it and pay tax on it even. See? Anything you earn is yours. And then you can do everything you want. You can give yourself something you like or give to the needy people. That's what we do. We do all the time. I do also. What I told you, I do. I don't always do it so that it's written in a magazine. Most of the things I do are not written in a magazine. It is written because some people happen to be there and knew it and wrote a report about it. 
or it is official, you know, like a concert, and everybody has to know. That's how it is. Otherwise, I do it every day, every time, every chance. <laughs> Sometimes one of the attendants laughs at me. He said, Master, how come McDonald's meal is so expensive? It's the most expensive restaurant I have ever seen. <laughs> you know why? Because when we went in there, we saw a lot of homeless people. They were looking for garbage. <laughs> and we, I gave them, you know, like $500. And that's why he said, my God, just eating some french fry and two cola, that's it? $500. <laughs> <laughs> so he made jokes about it all the time. He said, okay, next time when you say you want to take me out, I know which is the most expensive restaurant. <laughs> so I took him to McDonald's. You know, and we always share whenever. Most of the time we see homeless people that hang around there or they look in for garbage and I cannot bear it. So I give them something. And I give what I have. So uh, he, he made jokes. He said, what? We eat only two french fries and two medium colas and then we even have to serve ourselves and even stand in line. It's so expensive. <laughs> Like, you know, because in first class restaurant you sit there, you have napkins and everything, and the waiter comes, you know, and serves you like a king. Then you pay just maybe two, three, five hundred dollars, hands. But two persons, only two, three hundred dollars already expensive. I say, you couldn't imagine, McDonald's is more expensive. <laughs> it just makes jokes. <clears throat> so these things uh, we do because we love other people, because they are us, anyway. So there's nothing to talk about, yeah? But sometimes, of course, we write in magazines because also other disciples need to learn, yeah, from the example. Also, most of the things I do are open, yeah? So people can know. <laughs> Just so we know mm, the things that we do. Just like you tell me what you do. And so the news report what I do to you. So you just so that we get in touch, you know, like we know each other's way of life and things like that. Like knowing each other. Not to boast for everybody else to know. If to boast for everybody else to know, we should uh, put it in a router or, you know, like a big uh, news company. Not just write it in our small magazine. But this is the way of life that we do that all the time. It should be the way of life. And everyone should do that. And I'm very proud of you that you do that all the time. I know that. I know you do that. Individually. And still you have enough money to spare to come here or to go to retreat or come see me whenever possible. You see, your life becomes richer or not? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all the time I still have a lot. <laughs> I mean, for me it's a lot. Oh, what, what do I need? When I come to see you, of course I wear this. Yeah, it's in my own design, so it's for fun. When I'm not with you, I just throw this quickly because it's heavy. I don't really like. And I eat maybe once or twice a day, whatever leftover or whatever new. If it's new, I eat. If leftover, I eat. What can I need? That's why I still have a lot of money because I don't spend much, not because I earn more. Just like you, you earn just like before. You might even have more kids now than before, but you still have more money. You still feel life is more rich for you than before, right? Feel more satisfied, eh? more enough, right? Yeah, that, that is a trick. A lot of people who are millionaires, nobody knows. And everybody thinks to be a millionaire is difficult. It's not. And especially people who are already millionaires, they keep themselves that way because they are very natural, they are frugal. They don't even drive an expensive uh, uh, new car, they just buy second-hand cars so they don't have to pay luxury tax, for example. And they just drive normal cars. Most millionaires, they don't drive expensive cars, they drive the most safe cars, cheap even, or anything that's safer, yeah? They don't really... Uh, live the way we think millionaires should do, because otherwise their money go fast, even if they're millionaires. So they, they save a lot, you know, they're looking for ways to save, you know, like they, they go with what kind of car that use less petrol, yeah, or they, they, they stay in, in, in some neighborhood or some, some houses that they can afford, 
See what I mean? So that they don't drain out their savings. A lot of ways they just save here and there. Their money is always stable. Yeah. And some people who don't earn a lot, but spend a lot, go with Pascal and all that, they really have a lot, a lot, but a lot of credit. You know, <laughs> a lot of mortgage and debt. And the millionaire people who drive no car because they know how to organize their life so that they won't be in debt. Yeah. A lot of millionaires live next door to you, you don't know. Because they, they don't flash around. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They know the value of money. They don't just always spend. It's just they're naturally that way. And that's why they become rich. They're naturally rich. They naturally know how to handle money. And sometimes they win. Lotto also, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but they invest money. You see, for example, if, if they earn like forty thousand dollars per year, they put like fifteen or twenty percent aside to invest in the bank. Yeah. So, like in ten years, twenty years time, they will have hundreds of thousands of dollars out of just five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars they invested. You know every month they put in the bank. Yeah. They know how to organize their money. Yeah, they don't spend all their earnings. So they leave some for investments. And then just in no time you become rich. Yeah. Like for example you put ten thousand dollars today, ten years later it becomes fifty thousand dollars. Invest in some banks. That is slow, for example. But Otherwise, they go and risk and do their own business. And that's how they become uh, rich faster. But it's more risky. But that's life, yeah? Either you take risk or you just, you know, live an ordinary life very slow and day to day you just earn that much money. But still, if you can manage well, you're okay. Life is more simple now, yeah? Tofu is cheaper than. Huh? <laughs> you think, no? Just a little bit different, this piece of tofu instead of that piece of meat. We're healthy, we're okay. Now look at the lady, you know, MC, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I, I told her many times, she stand by for a photograph. Hmm? But all of you look good too. And I'm proud of you. You're proud of yourselves. Come on, I'm vegetarian, look at me. <laughs> yeah? Right? That's good. You're very beautiful. Just because you don't put on makeup now, so you still look less beautiful, but already too beautiful. If you put makeup on, wow, everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. All your husband are dying already. <laughs> you get him too beautiful and they don't want to leave you, huh? Yeah, I know. That's why some of them are so afraid, huh? And you get initiation, they get so afraid, you might become nun or something. They, they love you too much, huh? Looks so beautiful, more and more every day. Some husband already left his wife, and after she got initiation, he came back to Wow, how come you're so beautiful? Move back in. <laughs> yeah. Same with some wife, you know. Left already, didn't want him uh, when after initiation. Come like, oh my God, change, new man, <laughs> move back again. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, left the left the, the young boyfriend, a new boyfriend, or left him back to the husband because he's more spiritual, beautiful now. Once you're beautiful inside, people see you beautiful outside. That is normally the case. Yeah. Okay. So try to fight off all this Romeo, yeah? <laughs> but continue with your practice. Your life is better and better, I need not to tell you. Hmm? I'm just saying that uh, in case somebody doesn't know yet, they can verify with you. Your life is an example of love and of spiritual blessing. There's no need to even preach to anyone, yeah? They just look at your life. The way you walk your life, the way you present yourself to the world, that's just better than thousands of books talking about spiritual issues. You are the book. You are the best example, best doctrine, best religious theory ever present to anybody. 
There was a story in Mexico. There was a master a long time ago. He's very famous. Um, Professor Crawford, right? The Mexican. He told a story to his disciples. There were two men in the same group, and one was very, very uh, diligent and looked very religious. He went to the church every Sunday, and he was the first one in life to, you know, in any holy uh, activities, and the last one to leave, never missed any opportunity to go to the church. But he never did anything else. And one guy, he never went to the church, but he went to work every day. And he did whatever was his duty. And then he, whatever he earned, he took care of his family, also gave him away to the poor people. Yeah. And even he even gave to the church too, to repair the church. <laughs> so, Quetzal uh, Cotto say that the man who never went to the church, that guy is holy. That guy is already a church himself. But the guy who went to the church every day, he just went there. Because everybody respects the guy who went to the church very much, thinking he was very holy. And so lowly of the guy who never went to the church. But actually, he was so young, to take care of all the churches, you know, in his area, whatever he could do. And he sometimes worked extra so that he could earn a little more extra money, so that he could give to whoever again. That's what he did every day. So the master said, the first one goes to the church, all right. But the second one, he's the church himself. <laughs> yes. So we can be a churchgoer or a church ourselves. Yeah, it's up to us. I think all of you are the churches. I don't need to build any churches. So people ask me, why you don't have any church or any temple? I say, I don't need. I have millions of them running around. <laughs> Yeah. I say nowadays is uh, modern times, you know, fast technology. Everything is mobile, mobile phone, mobile home, mobile car, <laughs> mobile temple. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are my mobile temple. <laughs> we can communicate anytime, go anywhere, very flexible. Yeah, uh, uh, a brick girls is only fixed in one place. Yeah. We run around. We are the run around temple. <laughs> That's very cool. Mm. Mm. I was thinking of something else. I forgot. Yeah, wow, well, just the same thing. But I forgot. It's gone. <laughs> Sometimes it comes so fast, you know. The inspiration from the Master, from God, comes so fast. I, I, my mouth, I can't talk to people. <laughs> I already talk faster and faster every day already. You meet me like 10 years or 15 years ago. I didn't talk like this. I talk like you, like, Hello, Master. <laughs> How are you? So nice to see you. See? Now I talk, Hello, how are you? Okay? Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talk quick. I don't have time, you know? <laughs> yeah, I talk on the phone like that too. So many things to do. And when I talk, you know, with you, sometimes I talk so fast. That's why we need tape so that you can review and see <laughs> what did you say before. <laughs> Talking, everybody can. Hmm? But living, living what you talk is harder. And you can do all that. You can talk as well and you can do it as well. And that's what's great about you. I told you, I told you I came to make you great. Yeah? Whether I'm great or not, there's no consequence. I'm only one. Yeah. The, the great master, great teacher is not the one who makes himself great, but to make everybody else great. Yeah, right. If your students are good, that means you're good. Otherwise, it's no good. <laughs> you're you. Huh? So, whether I'm great or not, it doesn't matter. As long as you're great, it's fine. And if by your grace, by your greatness, I become also great, then thank you very much. I like that too. But to tell you honestly, if all the world was enlightened and nobody even ever wanted me, I would be happy just to be a private citizen. It's cheaper. <laughs>
Let's work. Let's work. Let's trouble at the airport. Just pass through. Hmm? And uh, even if the, if the officer, you know, are not nice to you, you can talk back. When you're master, you can't. You have to be gracious. Always calm and cool and be good. And, yeah, fine. Yeah. Even if it's not fine. <laughs> For example, yeah? And you pass through with her, no problem. Before I pass through any airport, no problem. Now every time I pass every airport, check if I have a spare heart. <laughs> Carry it in my pocket in case. Talking about speaking the truth. So I tell them, here, I'm the Supreme Master, let me pass quickly. Give me two visa instead of one. <laughs> See what I mean? You can say everything. I have to be careful what I say. Because I need to come here to see. Anything I say wrong can jeopardize our meeting. See what I mean? Can stop me or return somewhere else. For example, like that. It's not very easy. So, I, I'd rather not to be master. Not because I don't love this job, not because I don't love to see you better. It's just, just if I don't have to be, it would be better even. Yeah? If the world is already heaven, everyone is good, then it's better even. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right? If you see me around, don't run to me and say, Master this and Master that, okay? I'm travel incognito. <laughs> I forgot what I want to say. I guess I'm, I'm sleepy. I got to go. Hey guys. Not because sleepy only, but it's time. Yeah, got to do things. What time is it? Three, yeah. four? Twelve only? In the daytime, I sleep that good. But in daytime, I can't work very well. I work better at night. It's so calm. You know, especially paperwork, all that stuff. It needs. I, I work better at night. In daytime, it's so difficult. I could, but then it feels different things. The different. At nighttime, more concentration for me. Yeah. Some people are night huh? They have the tiger woods at night. Hey, Ran Shi Xiang, how are you? Good evening. You well? <laughs> See the way I talk? <laughs> talk so fast. Yeah. I talk faster and faster and still not fast enough. If I forgot sometimes what I what I got, you know, received. See, but it's okay. You know everything already. There's nothing that you don't know. Just you just want me to talk. <laughs> yeah. You love to hear, see me, that's all. No matter what I say. Mm, okay. Baby, I see you around. Yeah. Okay. I get well and rest a little and work a little for the next. Okay, guys? But we see each other, huh? Sure? Every time it's very difficult to leave you. I want you to know that. I want you to know. Because you think only you stay with you forever. Believe me. Because you're the best people. Where else should I go? Hmm? Yeah. You like to stay with good friends, no? Everybody does. Me too. But it's fine. It's fine. We, we stay here. Huh? Together here. Okay? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. And the flowers, the cake you share, okay? Each one, one. Okay. Love you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for working with me. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.